Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the Ranch Mirage Writers Festival founder, Jamie Kabler. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank Susan Eisenhower. Susan, are you here tonight to thank you? There, Susan, will you stand and be recognized? I, we've been working on this festival and the program for a year and a half. And when I called Susan to say that Brett Stevens has an idea of doing great wars, she said, we should honor World War II. It's the 75th anniversary of D-Day. And she introduced us to two great military historians who we, you will hear tomorrow at the Riot Festival. So Susan, thank you for your support of this festival and thank you for coming out every year to be here. So for six years, the city the, of Rancho Mirage, which I think is the best city in the desert, the best run city in the state of California, has supported this Writers' Festival. And in support of the renovation of the Helene Gale Auditorium and the building of the Annenberg Center, they have generously given the ranch, city of Rancho Mirage dining hall. I want you to acknowledge and stand, please, and be recognized, the City Council of Rancho Mirage. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Kite. Oh boy, thank you. So this building, is this theater is called the best theater of its type by author Scott Berg. And it's because of the generosity of one person, my partner, Helene Galen, who has renovated this theater tonight in time for your angel night. Helene, would you and your family stand and be recognized, please? Thank you. Thank you. So, did you enjoy the dinner tonight? We have, we have two people to thank for that. First of all, Terry Ketover, our dinner chair, her husband, our eye doctor, Bart Ketover. Will you stand and be recognized? So, angels, this was your night, and we, we stepped it up because we had the support and the enthusiasm of a great friend of this festival. He's the chairman of the... Of the Palm Springs International Film Festival. He is chairman of the McCallum board, f board, and he owns the best restaurant, Spencer's. Harold Master, a great friend of the festival, who has given us a tank you'll see tomorrow at the library. Harold, will you stand and be recognized? So, it was a real effort to get this theater ready in time for you, angels, tonight. But it was through the enthusiasm and the support of two couples that got it done. I want to recognize the president of Eisenhower Health, his wife, Lori, Aubrey and Lori Surfling, and the president of Eisenhower Foundation, Michael Landis, his wife, Stephanie. Will you stand and be recognized? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So tonight, I want to introduce you to our executive team. We've been together for six years. The new director of the Rancho Mirage, the award-winning Rancho Mirage Library and Observatory, the one and only Aaron Espinosa. Aaron, will you stand? Corinna, will you stand? His wife. So this festival wouldn't be possible, and I wouldn't be doing it, and volunteering all year and working all year as a volunteer if it wasn't for our executive producer, Debbie Green. Debbie, thank you. So did you like the program that we gave to everybody? No festival does a program like this. Every word of it was written by a director of programming, Deborah Deja. Deborah, and her mother is here tonight. Where's mom, Asan? Mom, would you wave? Thank you. Thank you. Um, so tonight, this is your night. Your generosity has given us the strongest lineup of writers ever. Tomorrow, every room is going to have a great speaker because of your generosity of being able to bring them here. So we have a lineup of our writers I want to introduce you to, but we, I want to tell you a little bit about them. We have 20 New York Times bestsellers. We have um, a, a Tony Award winner. We have a uh, MacArthur Genius Award winner in the house. We have five Academy Award wins, and here's the most important. We have eight Pulitzer Prize winners. So I want to introduce you to the, cl to the class of 2019. Will the writers and moderators in the top of the theater please stand and be recognized? <laughs> so
So up front, uh, other part of our writers who you'll be seeing tomorrow, and I hope you'll give them a warm Rancho Mirage welcome. The writers and moderators, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Sir Derek, Sir Derek. Sir Derek Jacoby, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So a year from now, angels, we're going to meet back here in this beautiful theater, and I want to announce to you one of our keynote speakers. He um, has donated $75 million to public libraries. He's coming to our festival because he loves libraries and because he loves golf, and my daughter's arranging for him to play at Sunnylands, all things. And he um, has funded 5,000 college scholarships for teachers. He doesn't do book festivals, nor does he do book tours, because he's the world's largest selling author. His name, James Patterson. So come back next year. James Patterson will be a keynote speaker. And then Wednesday morning, we're going to open with Doris Kearns Goodwin. Bob Shrum, thank you for get, helping me get Doris Kearns Goodwin. She'll be speaking here at the Rancho Mirage Writers Festival. So look in your program. And when you go to the festival tomorrow, look at the lineup of the sneak preview of 2020. Uh, we have a great lineup, and I think we won't disappoint you. We hope you'll come back next year, and we hope you enjoy this festival. So it's a great honor for me tonight to introduce the first part of our program, one of my favorite New York Times columnists, Pulitzer Prize winning authors, Maureen Dowd, in conversation with actor and author Tom Hanks. Please give him a welcome. <laughs> 